Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and today we've got a bit of a treat for you. So, um, brand new team, built up all around Gigantamax Colossal. So, normally when you see a Colossal team, you're going to be thinking Steam Engine taking advantage of it that way. This team is a bit different. We went weakness policy and we went hard trick room. It's base 30, so it's something that can perform very well under trick room. Um, I've done a few matches with the team so far. It's been going really well, so hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood, that continues in this episode. Um, but just to recap the team, we've got the Colossal there. Uh, Bronzong's going to be our Trick Room setter. We've got Grim Snarl there, just to help support with Fake Out support. It's got Sucker Punch to deal and help with things like Chandelier, Dragapult, other things that will cause Bronzong a few issues. We've got the Eject Button Trick strategy there, just to give us a little bit of an edge and some more gimmicky things to go along with the team to help us against opposing Dynamite. Pokemon. Uh, Gastrodon is self-explanatory. It gives us a ground type attacker as well as the Storm Drain to help support the Colossal. Uh, the Togekiss with the Wacken Berry. I'm trying out a different set. I've been playing super standard Togekiss, Follow Me support, but we've put Nasty Plot on there. We've got Follow Me, Dazzle Gleam, and then Air Slash. It's another option as well. With all the Rotoms going about, Wacken Berry feels like it's Probably not a bad option at the moment. And then Conkle Dare Assault Vest to round off the team. As always, what we'll do at the... Uh, I will play a couple of games today. And then at the end of the week, we'll have another episode. And I'll post the, the rental team. I'll create a rental team for this one. Uh, we may make changes along the way. But uh, we'll end up with the best version of what I feel the team is... Uh, is is kind of capable of so hope you enjoyed today's episode as always if you do enjoy these episodes do remember to leave a like on the video it does really help the channel out do subscribe to the channel as well uh, for more battle videos pokemon content in general and uh good old time that's it so we've got a fizz opponent 306 from japan let's have a look what they're rocking so got a team of dragapult incineral excadrill Persimian. rotom wash and dusclops so hmm it's not really a heavy trick room team, you know, the disc, the Dusclops is going to be there for a kind of anti-trick room measure more than anything. Um, I think the thing that we need to worry about probably more than, well, the two things I guess I really do worry about is going to be the Rotten Wash uh, and the Excadrill, both things I probably expect to uh, Dynamax in this match. Um, but to be fair, I think if we get our trick room up, we should be all right. So it's just a question of who we want to support our uh, Bronzong with to begin with. And I think, like Grimstar is not a bad option uh, to support Bronzong with. We'll go Colossal. And I think because of the Rotom, we're probably going to need the Gastron on the back. Um. So let's go with that. It's a bit of a weird team that I've put together, but I wanted to build something around one of the new Gigantamax Pokemon that we've got available now and Colossal is one of them and it's um, it's G-Max move is really good. It's pretty much a rock type variation on Charizard's um, G-Max move so it gives a chips one sixth of the opponent's health every, every turn for four turns after the attack uh, which is pretty nice uh, unless they're a rock type uh, and that means they don't take any damage. It's a bit like the Charizard. If they're fire type then they don't take any damage so um, it'd be interesting to see if this Excadrill is Mold Breaker. That gives uh, Bronzong a few issues. It is Mold Breaker. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, it makes getting our Trick Room up a lot more difficult here. Um, because it can't really... You can't really just uh, fake it out either because I expect it to, to, to go max. I think what we'll do is trick onto it. If we've got anything we can bring in the back. Maybe a bit of fodder. We can bring in Gastrodon here. Now what I need to try and do is maneuver around the situation. Um, remember this is a high, higher ranked player anyway. So they sh should know what they're doing. Um, they're probably wanting to go and chase down the Bronzong here. Ideally, what we want to do is switch in the Bronzong, so we're kind of just absorbing a bit of this damage. We can trick the Eject Button onto the Excadrill, and then the next turn we can Sucker Punch it, get rid of it, before it can do anything, and then Bronzong 
hopefully isn't in the worst of places because you've got to think like the Dragapult next to the Excadrill as well, pressuring our Bronzong. So we've not got too many to, uh, sorry, we don't even need to worry because our Bronzong's not even in the picture. What am I talking about? There's a the trick. Okay, we get it onto the Excadrill. That's a big thing. Hopefully we don't see, oh well, even if we do get attacked, it's fine. So we'll just see a couple of Dragon Darts. Gastron will take this. Focus Sash is really handy because even if they steal spike into Grimmsnarl, then that's fine. Um, but they are into the Gastro. That's that's super super good for us. Okay, because now, like I say, we can sucker punch the Excadrill and we can Trick Room with Bronzong. So we do lose Gastrodon, which isn't ideal. It makes our it definitely makes our um, Rotom Wash matchup a lot harder, but. Should still be alright. Should still be alright. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> they're going to expect the Sucker Punch, aren't they? They're going to max guard. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at this point. Um, so we'll get our Trick Room up. And, you know, Dragapult, we got the Concede Berry. It's not going to be able to knock out our Bronzong. So we're fine here. Whether or not my opponent maybe switches the Dragapult, readjusts their board position. Um... I don't know. But really what we want to be doing is getting Colossal onto the field as soon as possible. And it's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. Oh. They're just getting rid of it. <laughs> we forced it. Ah, we would have been better going for the Sucker Punch into Dragapult. But never mind. We're going to see Incineroar come in. Now this is actually way better for for, for me switching in Colossal. Um, I'd prefer to switch in Colossal 100% uh, if, I, if I see an Incineroar. And especially the Phantom Force here, yeah, 100%. That just makes me feel so much better. So we get the Trick Room up, which is great. Um, and now, uh, I don't think we're going to be able... I really don't expect us to be able to get our Bulldoze off. But I'm going to I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. And even though we're getting it off, we're not Dynamaxed. But... We just want to get kind of going with our Trick Room turns as quickly as possible. Because that's the thing, like, we want to be making the most out of them. Um, and also by switching Grimmsnarl out at this point, it means that Sash that we kind of stole through the trick, we've still got intact, which may come in quite handy in the late game, especially if we just need a couple of Sucker Punches to finish something off, which is, you know, a lot of the time the case. So we actually get the Bulldoze off. Uh, we do avoid the Dragapult. Get a little bit of damage onto the Incineral, which is perfect. Um, and we will proc the weakness policy on Colossal. You don't take too much damage from the weakness policy either, which is which is a nice thing. You know, you don't want to be taking too much damage from the super effective attack that you're kind of firing out. Now there's a flare blitz. Uh, Bronzong. Ooh, hanging on. It's a well trained Bronzong. Well trained Bronzong. Phantom Force. <laughs> Wasting that Cassie Berry. It's never taken that attack, but that's fine. Um, we're in a great position right now because we get to bring Grimmsnarl back in. Now, it's two versus four, but we're kind of ready to start rolling with with our Pokemon now. Um, we know that the Dragapult isn't sashed, so maybe a Sucker Punch will take it out, but maybe a Spirit Break will take it down as well. Um, I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to go for the, the G-Max Volcano. Or what, what is it called? Let's have a look. G-Max, Volcalith. Volcalith. Okay, we'll go for that into the Incineroar, make sure we get rid of it. Um, I don't want to risk the Sucker Punch uh, into the Dragapult. We've already shown it, so let's just go for a Spirit Break into the um, the Dragapult here. And we'll definitely be under-speeding it. Uh, we're going to see the Incineroar switch out. And Excadrill come in. That's fine. That's super fine. And it is going to show that Mold Breaker once again. Be interesting to see what the Dragapult does here. Um, hmm. May go for another Phantom Force. Eh. But we still got turns by Trick Room. I think that the things that we want to be doing here is getting rid of the Excadrill. That's like our main goal. If we can get rid of the Excadrill, that's that's huge for us, especially um, when it comes to our Trick Room ending. Because like Bronzong's gone now, so our Trick Room speed control's gone. So we need to be doing stuff. Uh, we get a bit of chip damage there. Which is fine. Um, 
and there's the eject button. So I'll go and straight back out. The incineral is going to come back in, but don't mind this too much. Depends if we knock out. It could be a bit tricky. Um, if we knock out the Dragapult, then you know Grimmsnarl's prime fake out bait, isn't it? The Intimidate only really hurting. Um, come on, can we knock out this Dragapult? Let's do it. No way. Wow. It's a weakness policy. That's not what we want to see. Hmm. Oh, it's going for the Phantom Force as well. Uh, that's not ideal. That is really not ideal. Um, hmm. I don't know what we can do now. Um, okay. How many turns of the, the Trick Room have we got left? Two. Okay. Okay. Right. Well... I think we still might be alright. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to have to go after the Incineral here. We're going to get faked out, regardless. Um, I can't suck a punch because the Dragapult's disappeared, so I'm just going to have to Spirit Break it again. <sighs> okay, let's see. There's the Fake Out, breaking the Sash. <laughs> Just gotta hope that the the Phantom Force doesn't knock out. Our... I don't think it will knock out Colossal. Nah, no way. Wow. Okay, we take that so comfortably. And one more of the rocks is gonna take down the Dragapult, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Now we got one turn of Trick Room left. Now if the Excadrill comes in and it actually protects, I think a plus two uh, Max Flare will probably take it down from position it's in anyway so it'd be doing us a favor if our opponent brings in the excadrill to be honest like i want to see the excadrill right now because there's nothing it can do really uh, and we can just suck a punch max flare and it kind of locks my opponent in at that point but they're smart enough to bring in the rotom um okay so i think we go max overgrow and do i even worry about the dragapult i guess because it could could Phantom Force again, but if it does, I mean, it goes down to the rocks, right? Um, we'll probably better go and Spirit Break into the Rotom. Just a lot of special attack, rather than the Sucker Punch. Then we still got our Sucker Punch intact. Okay, well, that's fine. Because now we're going to double end. We're going to get rid of the Excadrill. So, and the Dragapult. It's not Phantom. I'm probably going Dragon Darts. That's what I'd imagine it to do. Okay, now that that's way better. Now the spirit break goes into the dragapult, and we just get rid of it. So, um, it's gonna be a very very close end game here, but <laughs> we might be able to do it. You know, I think if you're my opponent with Rotom, you've probably got to prioritize taking down the colossal because the grassy terrain is up. But the grassy terrain is actually going to put a, a sash intact, and we still got sucker punch. And a couple of sucker punches should take down the Rotom. We could even spirit break it, you know. Um, okay. <sighs> we can't solar beam because. <sighs> Yeah, the sun's not up, is it? I don't think. I don't think we actually set the sun. Did we max flare? No, we just got the grassy terrain. Okay. Uh, well, maybe you don't go after the colossal then. Uh, we'll go for an ancient power. It's probably our best bet at this point. Um, and spirit break because if we suck a punch, I'm scared of the nasty plot, and we don't want to be kind of falling into that trap. Okay, it's just going straight for. The hydro pump here. That's going to take us down for four times a week. There's no way we take that. But the spirit break's kind of handy. Um, just for the fact that we are lowering their special attack by one. They do reveal the life orb as well, so we don't need to worry about a potential citrus berry or anything like that. Well, wow, that's doing nothing. Okay. 
but the rocks coming in super handy once again this is this is why it's so good you know the rocks are just amazing um i think the rocks that was probably the last turn of the rocks uh okay can we suck a punch of spirit break uh <laughs> I think we can afford to suck a punch here because the grassy terrain is going to put our slash back intact which means we've got room to actually go for a spirit break the next turn if they nasty plot here. It's just the sucker punch is going to do more damage. It's going to do more damage. We do get it. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's fine. We... We can afford just a spirit break from now because there's no way I, I don't think. Yeah, we just spirit break. Because I don't think even a hydro pump takes us out from this range. Yeah, they're going to try and catch us out with that nasty plot. But we knew. We knew. <laughs> so that's a nice win for us at least. Um, and we got to show off like a bunch of different components with the team as well. So I'm really happy about that. And um uh, Good game to our opponent, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. this one to kick us off with. Um, so Colossal doing a lot of work in that match as well. Um, and even though Gastrodon didn't really do much, we had to use it for that fodder so we could get that kind of position. And sometimes you just have to do that, you know. Um, we'll take a pill and we'll continue on. So one more for today. It's going to be a bit of a longer one today. Um, that was a longer match, so maybe the next one's not as long. Hopefully. Hopefully we're not hit the 30 minute mark. I don't want to be hitting the 30 minute mark anymore. 20 minutes is like the sweet spot, I feel. Um, but like I say, what we'll do is play one more now. And then we'll come back later in the week. And I'll play a couple more. And um, then I'll, I'll make sure that the rental team is there. The reason why I'm not doing the rental team today is because if I make changes between now and then, if I play more matches, which I'll be streaming this team between the two episodes, if I make changes, I'd rather give you guys the better version of the team rather than give you two versions of the team. Uh, I think it's more beneficial that way. So, got our next opponent, Emily, and they are playing a team of Rotom Heat, uh, Tyranitar, Venusaur, Hit on Top, and Corvair Knight, and the Gastrodon. So the Gastrodon is a little bit of a worry for us because it does threaten our Colossal, kind of on both spectrums from the, the its water type attacks and its ground type attacks. Other than that though, I'm not really too worried about this team. Like, honestly, um, the Venusaur does worry me a little bit because of its... Um, uh, sleep powder, but other than that, I think it's fine. I think maybe... It's tricky, because I kind of want to bring Togekiss. It's a bit more support against Bronzong um, from the, the, the Max Flare from the Rotom, but otherwise... I think Grimmsnarl's not a bad shout in this one as well. We'll go Grimmsnarl. Um, and I think, I think we'll probably need Gastrodon. Just for their uh, uh, Gastrodon. Or do we? Do we? Hmm. Like it does well against everything other than Venusaur. Um, which Colossal, if we can get it positioned. I mean, it steamrolls. So we'll try. We'll see. Let's hope we can... Um, continue this run I think one of the things I really like about Colossal especially as a trick room Pokemon is it's slower than Rhyperia and after the weakness policy boost you can knock it out with um, the max grass move like so easily there is like no problems about doing that right okay and um, do you think that the Tito is definitely weakness policy I, th I think uh, we can't. One of the issues with that is um, we can't trick it because it because of its dark typing, of course. Um, hmm. And bronze on take. Yeah, we should take a max darkness. So we could just spirit break the gastrodon, I guess, um, and go for a trick room. Oh, we're just going to see a rock slide, huh? Okay. Well, that's Grimmsnarl out of here. Not so good for us, really, because um, we don't really want to be switching Colossal in right now. 
Um, <laughs> could take a water type attack, and it definitely could take um, a ground type attack, neither of which it wants to be taken, especially when it's not dynamaxed. Okay, so the skull coming out. All right. Hopefully we get a trick room up and we don't flinch. Come on! <laughs> we did we did that. We did that to ourselves, didn't we? Um okay. Should we start chasing down the Gastrodon? I don't really wanna I don't want to proc the weakness policy on the T Tar. Although we are gonna be slower than the T Tar, so we could potentially go for that. Um and then go for the trick room. Because then we'll get, if we get the Trick Room up, we get two turns against the T-Tar. And we got stuff on the Bronze Long that we could potentially do. <sighs> okay. Lynch didn't help me. I had a match earlier where a Grim Snarl Thunder Waved. My, uh, my Bronze Long has paralyzed three turns in a row. Every time trying to get the Trick Room up. Three turns! I was like, ugh. <laughs> My switch was nearly out the window, I swear. Okay. It happens though, doesn't it? It happens sometimes. No chance of a flinch here. Just let's hope Max Darkness doesn't knock us out. Uh, okay. Okay. Well. There's a policy book. Prop. We've done everything wrong. I don't think we've even brought a conk here, have we? A max darkness. Oh, yeah, we haven't. Um, we don't even have a weakness policy now. This is where a great example of the team going badly wrong. Hmm. Actually, is it though? Is it? Is it that? Hmm. Because I think I think you have to check. Like you probably go after the gastrodon here. I'd imagine. Do we max over or do we just go for the gastrodon? Poison gastrodon. I really don't mind about the poison gastrodon. I want to get the tito. Uh. Let's go max overgrow. Let's hope that our weakness policy gets procced in in the run into this max overgrow. I'm kind of hoping that the T-Tail goes max darkness into the Gastrodon. And then the opposing Gastrodon goes for the Earth Power into us. Now it's going to chunk us like a huge amount. Especially if the max darkness comes out from the, the T-Tail. Because... Um, get the special defense drop but we just got it this is like I think this is like we're just cut, clutching at straws here uh, it's not okay so the, the pause and gastrodon it's not gonna proc up very which is not ideal uh, max rockfall huh okay ha wow <laughs> Oh wow, I did not. I literally didn't think it would do that much damage. Well, there's not really much we can do here. Okay. Hmm. We've had like polar opposites in this episode. We had like the team performing like extremely well in that first game, and then complete opposite of how you really want it to perform in this next game. Uh, I think it gives you food for thought. Um, like, I built this team today, and I'm still learning how it's functioning, and it's a massive error not bringing Conkle there to this, to this game. Uh, if we brought Conk, it makes things so much easier. Um, I think our opposing Gastrodon matchup isn't amazing either, so I think that's kind of telling as well. Uh, you can see we're kind of struggling against it. So it's 
these are good things though like and these are always things i'll pass on over to newer players as well you know if you lose like it's not the end of the world especially if you're just practicing like this isn't a tournament or anything this is like team testing so this is like great information for improving the team in general um and whether that be how we've actually just approached the match or whether it's actually a problem with uh, the Pokemon themselves and whether or not we need to like tech something into you know support against say Gastrodon or something like that but I think it's a combination here I think it's how we've actually led into this game what we've brought to this game and maybe um, a few little areas that we probably have left a little bit vacant that we need to cover going forward but like I say this is the beauty about testing a team and putting it together and trying to get a finished article because these matches obviously are the are the gold in the haystack that you're kind of looking for um but very good game to our opponent emily there i wonder if i know who it is maybe 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 but um that wraps it up for today so like i say we've got two polar opposite games uh really happy regardless i think today's episode is really good really beneficial on both fronts we got that great first game uh, where we saw the team doing its thing doing what it wants to do and then we got the, the second game where we're playing against a very good opponent and uh, they've led excellently obviously seen some exploits in our team and exploited those areas where the team's kind of lacking a little bit but all in all very good and we didn't go over that 30 minute mark so what more can we ask for like always though my friends i mentioned it earlier do drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it do subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts on how you think the the team did today on your thoughts on the team in general uh gmax colossal and uh, i'll look forward to seeing them all and we'll see you later in the week i will be streaming thursday evening with this team uh, there may be changes between now and then but uh, do stay tuned for that and um, we'll have the rental card up later in the week as well with our next episode so until then my friends take care of yourselves and bye bye